Hi, my name is Toso Bozik. I am a tree expert in ICR with UTR Whispers. Uh, this is a recorded presentation for the county of Lethbridge uh, residents, and uh, we're going to cover tree and shelterable basics um, today. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a tree owner. I'm an owner and uh, and a tree expert with the Art Whispers, which we are a consulting company providing services to residential and commercial businesses, golf course industry, municipal government, parks, campgrounds, and several other organizations. We provide the services, consulting services in arborist, um, as arborist services, uh, urban and town uh, tree services, including the tree inventory and developing the um, urban forest management plan, natural forest management, uh, such as include the uh, harvesting and reforestation plans, tree planting, and the management, as well as the shelter pots and windbreak design, repairing and, and natural vegetation plants and biodiversity and, and pollinators plant. What's the outline of this presentation? We're going to cover what is the values of the trees on your property. What's the purpose of the shelter belts? Uh, steps of for the tree planting, um, how to design, how to choose a tree species, how to do the site preparation, planting and weed control and maintenance. What are the values? There are many of them. And uh, well, I would like to emphasize a few of them. Um, one of the first values uh, for the uh, people in Lethbridge County is protect from the cold wind, uh, strong winds. Um, and trees has an incredible ability to reduce the wind speed and uh, protect your uh, homes or livestock. Also, it reduces the summer heat. It's provided an incredible cooling effect uh, during this uh, hot summer days. Um, if you plant the trees around the uh, uh, livestock operations, it's, uh, it's going to protect your livestock uh, during the cold and, and hot weather, uh, uh, during the cold and hot weather days. Um, if you plant the trees uh, on your field, it's going to increase your crop yields in, uh, uh, significantly. In some areas, it can increase uh, crop yields up to 40%. Um, last and not least, trees reduce the noise and reduce the dust effects uh, that is in, uh, very common in, in rural, uh, rural Alberta. So there is a many, many values, uh, the trees that provide to you. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, one of the last thing you also have to think about it is the, that having the properly designed the shelter pots and windbreaks around your home is gonna increase your real estate value up to 20%. Here's a, one of the example that a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Terry Krause, uh, did uh, just 13 years ago. This area was nothing but the pasture, as you can see from up north. And 13 years ago, he started planting the trees and shrubs all, all around his property. And what's the difference between his property and the surrounding property? As you can see in the surrounding property, they have one row of the spruce or two rows of the, one row of the spruce and, and one row of the shrubs. In Terry's case, he planted the rows of the trees, six, seven rows, uh, different shapes, different size, different design, different ages, different species. Uh, he protects his garden, uh, he protects his home. And the beauty of this, that he has a so high diversity of the trees and shrubs in his property, that there is no insects and disease or any weather uh, event that is gonna take all of those trees and shrubs. In the case of the, his neighbors, if you get a spruce beetle, spruce beetle and, uh, or some of the diseases, all of the spruce trees will be gone. And this area, uh, his neighbor will be totally exposed and, uh, and uh, not having any, any protection. And what Terry did, again, he planted different, different trees and shrubs, different ages, different design. And that's what you want. If you want to have a really area like this, Keep in mind one thing, diversity, diversity, diversity. The more diverse trees and shrubs that you plant on your property, the better it is. Your, your trees and shrub is gonna last longer. It's gonna create own ecosystem and it's gonna be sustainable for the long period of time. What Terry did, as you can see, he planted 52 different trees and shrubs. Uh, on his property in just 10 acres. Uh, as you can see, he planted a whole range of the crab apples, uh, different poplar species, different plum species, different lilac, different spruce and pine, different uh, uh, raspberries, different roses, gooseberries, 
maples, um, oak, hazelnut, on and on, 52 of them. And there is no insect or disease that is going to all of them. There is no even salt that is going to take all of them. Even chemicals, most likely, is not going to kill all of them. So the, the beauty of this, this gave him a long-term stability for his property. And it, not just that, it's also attracted so many different wildlife species, different pollinators. Uh, and he has a way less problem than his, than his uh, neighbor does.